Hey guys, uh, back for kind of an impromptu collection update. This will be my second one. Um, just recently got my uh, car paid off, so decided to treat myself and have a bit of a splurge, something I wouldn't normally do. So anyway, there'll be a fair number of titles, uh, and a lot of these I haven't seen. I apologize, guys. These are films I just picked up like an hour ago. So from a, a local uh, movie place that, you know, carries some pretty good stuff. So, anyway guys, the first one is the Anchor Bay uh, double feature of I Spit on Your Grave original and the I Spit on Your Grave remake. Uh, normally I don't like remakes very much, but I actually did enjoy this one. Um, I used to have a copy of the original I Spit on Your Grave, but lost it somehow over the years. So, I've seen them both, I enjoyed both of them. The next one, as long as I'm doing I Spit on Your Grave, uh, I didn't even know this film existed. I saw a review of it recently on uh, SG Man 182's channel. Sounded pretty good, I liked the first, you know, the original and the remake. So I thought, what the heck, might as well complete the collection and pick this bad boy up, so we'll see what's what later. Now the next one is a complete blind buy, never even heard of the movie, and it's called Would You Rather. Um, the reason I picked this up is the cast includes Jeffrey Combs and former porn star Sasha Gray, and I thought, well why not? Uh, based on reading the back of the box, it sounds pretty interesting. Jeffrey Combs plays this rich guy who invites these down-on-their-luck people over to a dinner party, talking about how he's going to help them out and make life easier for them, and apparently decides to pit them against each other in some nasty, violent situations or something. I have not seen it, so... So that's what it kind of sounds like, one of them sort of films. Uh, the next one is one that I've seen a lot of people showing off lately. It's Frankenstein's Army. Um, this is from Dark Sky Films. Um, it's a found footage kind of movie, but I guess it's got some really well done uh, creature effects and so on. So I thought it sounded pretty interesting. I'll give it a go. Uh, the next one... Um, I found on uh, Andrew Bolina's channel, he's talking about it's a creature feature film. Again, this is using the sort of found footage stuff, but very good gore, uh, very good story. I'm kind of hit or miss on uh, creature features, but if anybody that's out there that really enjoys them, I'd highly recommend that. I thought it was great. Uh, the next one everybody knows about, I've seen it a bunch of times, just never got around to picking it up. It's The Human Centipede 2, uh, pretty nasty, you know, sick kind of movie. But anyway, everybody either loves it or hates it at this point. Uh, the next one's another one that's reasonably uh, strong violence-wise. It's a French film called Frontiers. Another one I, I've seen, I just never got around to picking up. Uh, pretty strong gore in this one. I found it used for real cheap, so I thought, what the heck, I don't have it yet. Uh, the next one, I showed off uh, in a, I have it in a five film box set of uh, women in prison films, but I found this for $4.99 used, and this is basically the X-rated French cut of 99 women. It's a just Franco film. So I thought, well, for that price, what the heck, I'll check out the X-rated version and see what that's all about. Uh, the next film, uh, again, one everybody's been getting lately, it's the Scream Factory Blu-ray of Day of the Dead. Uh, anybody that's watched my prior videos knows Dawn of the Dead is my favorite film of all time for horror. This would be a very close second. Uh, I haven't switched the artwork, guys. I just got in like 10 minutes before I started shooting this video. But I don't know. I really do like their uh, new artwork for this, so I may even just leave it. Not sure yet. But anyway, I don't have to say much about that. Everybody knows about it. 
Uh, the next one I've seen a few people show off or, uh, on different channels, and it sounded pretty entertaining, pretty hilarious. So I thought I'd give it a go. It was real cheap. It was like $7.99. It's uh, Dead Sushi. And apparently it's about sushi, killer sushi. Sounds pretty ridiculous. I think I'll enjoy it, so we'll see what's what. Uh, the next film is an upgrade. Um, I have the Blue Underground two-disc special edition DVD version of Bird with the Crystal, uh, excuse me, Bird with the Crystal Plumage. I missed out on the uh, Blue Underground DVD release, but I don't really mind too much because I actually prefer the cover art. This is the uh, VCI edition. There isn't too many extras, so I think I'm going to go ahead and keep the uh, Blue Underground DVD version as well. That's just an upgrade. Uh, the next one is a Dustin Mills film. I do enjoy a lot of his work. I'm an underground director. Uh, he did Night of the Tentacles and Puppet Monster Massacre and Zombie A-Hole and a variety of others. So this is one of his newer ones. It's called uh, Bath Salt Zombies. And uh, an interesting side note, it features our YouTube's very own Dave Parker, a.k.a. Mr. Parker, in a, uh, has a role in this film. So I'm interested to check that out. And the last one, guys, should have been in my last update. I just forgot to include it, so this one actually is I've had for a little while. It's a non-horror title. It's uh, Control. It's basically about the uh, uh, Manchester kind of post-punk band um, Joy Division. Although this one focuses a little more on their vocalist Ian Curtis, his struggles with uh, depression and epilepsy. And anybody that's a big fan of the band, I would encourage to check it out. I thought the film was fantastic. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, you know, I just thought I'd do this one up quick since I, you know, who knows when my next update will be. It'll be quite a while, I bet, now. So. Anyway, guys, thanks an awful lot, and I'll talk to you later.